Alright guys, um, this is Freckled Soldier. Um, I'm shipping for basic combat training very soon, within, yeah, just a couple weeks left. And it's really creeping up on me. So I've been doing a lot of research and I'm getting um, a lot of advice from females who have already been through basic combat training and what they recommend, um, what's not on the list that you should bring anyway. Um, and I know that I'm not the only one who struggles to find what's smart and what's not smart to bring and what you should just wait to buy at the PX when you get to basic combat training. So hopefully this video helps my fellow female recruits out there. So let's get started. All right, so obviously you're going to need um, a bag or some sort of, you know, thing to carry all the things you're bringing with you to pack for basic combat training, right? Um, most people, I think that not everyone does, sometimes they run out, but whenever the day you swore in, you should have gotten this backpack. It just has the army logo. It's just a typical backpack. It has the light stripe on it. Um, it doesn't have to be this backpack, but for example purposes, this is the one I'm using. And if you have trouble packing everything you're bringing into a backpack that size, you know you're packing too much or something's too big, okay? You need to be able to learn how to pack things tightly and efficiently. I got this luggage tag from my recruiter. Um, I, again, it's not really given to you. I'm sure if you ask them, they might have one. Uh, whenever you, the day you ship, the day you go to MEPS, the day you do your final little physical and stuff, and you're actually leaving to Fort Jackson reception or Fort Sill reception or wherever it is you're going, you need to have a casual outfit. You don't want to attract attention. Try to avoid any logos, any pictures, um, just neutral colored shirt. Okay, um, like me, what, what I'm wearing right now is fine. Just a black plain t-shirt. There is like a little design on the back, but it's not anything intricate or anything that would draw attention. Um, go ahead and bring a watch, um, Velcro neutral colored. Um, if it has an alarm and a timer on it, it's perfect. Um, I heard that sometimes it's just great um, for you to set an alarm like five to ten minutes before the drill sergeants wake you up for a wake-up call so that you can use that extra time to kind of just get ready or wake up or anything that you need. So neutral colored shirt, watch, that's optional. Um, running shoes, running shoes. Don't wear skater shoes, don't wear sandals, don't wear any of that crap. Just bring running shoes, the shoes that you work out in, the shoes that you run in. Um, you're not going to get to keep these, you're not going to get to use these for PT during basic combat training. When you get to the PX at basic combat training, they're going to make you buy a new pair. But you need to show up and I'm going to go ahead and put that on my backpack just in case because I'm going to have to be going to the airport, of course, to fly. Baby wipes. Baby wipes. The only reason I'm saying baby wipes is because I always hear females and male recruits complaining how they have nothing to really give them like a quick cleanup, you know, because you're not going to feel really clean. Your hygiene levels are going to plummet, but utilize what you can. Baby wipes are the perfect quick cleanup, and this one has 16. Don't go any more than this, but with each wipe, just like rip it into thirds, and then you can keep using it. So it's like that's 16 times 3. You're multiplying your amount. So socks. Crew length socks. Uh, they have to be white and they have to be above the ankle. Uh, it can't be any shorter than that or it's out of regulation. I got mine at Walmart. Um, it's just Fruit of the Loom, 10 crews, so five on each side, so it's five pairs. You can buy, and you probably will be forced um, to buy more at the PX, so I'm just bringing this amount. And if I do have to buy more, this can just be my extras. This is just for PT. These are PT socks. Okay, that's gonna be their purpose. You're gonna wear them with your running shoes during basic combat training. Uh, the different colored socks that you might see and you're like, hmm, I see tan colored socks. I see people wearing gray colored socks. Those are the socks you wear um, when you're in your ACUs, your um, army combat uniform. So that's different. These are PT socks, all right? No logos. They can't have logos either, okay? No logos. On anything possibly you can, avoid logos on anything clothing-wise, okay? Shaving cream. Shaving gel. Um, you can't have the aerosol spraying cans, that's out of regulation, um, you can't bring that, so I just bought this at the dollar store, um, shave gel for women, uh, sensitive skin care, aloe and vitamin E moisturizes and protects. This is perfect for, you know, it's travel size, it's not a huge bottle, it's just something I can stick in my backpack for when I shave. Disposable razors. 
I got a pack of 10. Each one can probably be used two to three times. And then after that, you have to discard it because obviously there's the cheaper kind. But I mean, 10 times two or 10 times three, that should last you the majority of basic combat training, if not more, because you're not gonna shave every single day. Some people, some girls are going to try to, but I don't recommend it, okay? Your legs are almost always going to be covered, okay? It doesn't matter. All right, guys, toothbrush and toothbrush carrying case. If you see this, it's like a little goodie bag. I think it's, it's perfect. Um, I have, if you can see, the toothbrush. It's like a really tiny travel size. I got that from the dollar store as well, very cheap. And it also came with the Colgate toothpaste. But if you can see, it's just a little handle with a little toothpaste, and it slips into a case. Um, I just have the two small toothpaste with me. The dual travel size, you don't really need any more than that. If you do end up needing more, you can always visit the PX whenever you need more. I got um, lens cleaner spray, very small. Um, I'm going to be have to wear BCGs, and I'm also bringing, I have to wear my civilian glasses when I ship. So... It's perfect for cleaning my lens if I had a dirty day in the mud or something, or it's just really dirty or whatever. And it's my it's that's my prescription bottle. If you have prescription medicine, it passed. You got it wavered at Meps. Um, you have to take your prescription bottle with you. I'd fill maybe a week's worth of pills worth in it. Um, and whenever you get there, you're gonna have to do something extra at reception. And they're just going to give you a military issue. So you're not going to get to keep this version anyway. So, But you need to bring your prescription bottle. This is I don't normally floss my teeth, but this is perfect for just like a little floss dispenser if I get something stuck between my teeth. And this right here is not deodorant. It's actually um, anti-rub. It's actually kind of expensive. Uh, you don't have to have it, but when you're breaking into your boots, um, it's actually perfect just to rub on places you know that are rubbing as you're breaking into your boots. And that's just, I put my initials on that as well. So um, that's my little goodie bag. A hairbrush and a comb. I recommend bringing both because a comb, whenever your hair is wet, it can, you don't want to damage your hair more than it's already being damaged. So especially if you're like taking good care of your hair and you want to keep your hair at least in decent shape, um, I would bring a comb, wide tooth for when it's wet and a brush. Notice how small it is. Don't bring a full size brush. All you need is a travel size brush. You can bring whatever kind you want. Extra socks for sock buns if you make your own sock buns. Or you can buy pre-made ones. Okay, they're not expensive. Um, buy one that's most closest to your hair color. I got extras, but they're more on the black side, if you can see them there, and they're smaller. I got a bunch of hair ties, because you're going to need hair ties. But um, I'll go over that in a minute. So this is just extra hair stuff I'm bringing from here. You can buy more at the PX. A lot of stuff you can buy more at the PX. Moleskin. Some of you have, may have heard Moleskin. Bring Moleskin. What's Moleskin? Moleskin is um, from Dr. Schultz. It provides all day pain relief from calluses. Soft padding protects feet from painful shoe friction and can be cut to any size. And there's actually three sheets of it in here, which should last you more. So between my anti rub and this, this should protect my feet when I'm breaking into my boots or after long rucks and marches. Your feet are everything in basic combat training. Shampoo, conditioner, and um, my all day humidity resistance holding spray. I have very fine and thin hair, so it's going to help me when I have my hair in a bun. It'll help hold some flyaways um, to keep it as perfect looking as possible. And then I just got shampoo, conditioner. They're both travel size, found it at Walmart, they're very cheap. Because you're packing for just something that would last you maybe a couple days or a week at a hotel. Pack like that. Because they have shampoo and conditioner and things for your hair more at the PX, but you still need to pack a travel size for backup and until you're actually at basic combat training. Aloe vera after sun lotion, I'm bringing this, I got it at Walgreens. This is for after you've, your skin's been exposed for a long time out um, in the sun. You're going to be in the sun a lot, especially like me. I'm going to basic combat training in the summer. And I have sensitive skin and I burn easily. So this is perfect um, for after a long day in the sun. Soap cases. 
clear soap cases. You can get them very cheap at Walmart as well, or just the dollar store. A lot of places carry them. They're not hard to find. They're like 99 cents each. I recommend bringing two. Why two? That's stupid. It's actually not very stupid. It sounds stupid, but it's not. Whenever you're in basic combat training, the stuff in your locker, your wall locker, by your bunk, is going to have to look the exact same as all the other girls in your bay. One's going to be for presentation, and one's going to be for use. It's not required, but I recommend it. So one can look clean and pretty when you're having wall inspections, and this is for use whenever you actually use in the shower and stuff, okay? So two clear soap cases, that's what I recommend, but you need to at least bring one. Lotion and bottle body wash. Now it says bring bar soap, which I'm bringing just Dove sensitive skin unscented. It has to be unscented. Everything you have for your skin or for showering, shampoo, conditioner, they all have to be unscented, okay? So these are just little bars of soap. I haven't opened them yet. Uh, but just in case they let me or if I run out of bar soap, I brought the Deep Moisture um, Dove Scentless Body Wash. And this is um, just um, an off-brand I got at the dollar store of lotion. Shower shoes. People are asking, what are shower shoes? Black flip-flops. That's all they are. They're just black flip-flops. Um, they're... I got these at the dollar store. Very cheap. They're not supposed to be anything expensive, okay? They can't have logos on them either, but they have to be black. Sports bras. <sighs> this is... Sports bras are going to be the hardest to find on your list. Um, they're usually very expensive and they're hard to find in neutral color nowadays. Most of the stuff are very colorful and the logos are everywhere. And they can't have logos on them and they have to be neutral colored, which means gray, tan, white, or black. See, there's like a small logo right there. If you really are worried about it, just wear it inside out and just fold them up and when you fold them up, put them upside down. I mean, but pretty much, as long as they don't have huge logos, they're neutral colored, you should be fine. If they have like logos on the back right here, don't worry about it because when you wear it, you don't see it anyway. Okay, so don't worry about that. See, this is black, neutral colored. Find something that gives you support, girls. Something that gives you support. Not just something that's off-brand that just doesn't give you support. You're going to be running. You're going to be having intense workouts during basic combat training. You're going to be running around. You're going to be bouncing around. Don't fall for just anything. Get something that really holds your shit together. Okay. I would recommend bringing 10. If you ask your recruiter, if you look on the list, it says don't bring that much. The reason I'm saying bring 10, which is a little more than a week's worth, I bring 8 to 10 sports bras. And that's the same, the same goes for underwear. It's because when you get to basic combat training and you look at the PX, it's very unlikely that they're going to have your size and it's very unlikely that it's going to fit correctly. So I would put most of your effort on your list to invest in good, supportive, your size, decent sport bras. If they're black and they have a logo, just go over it in black permanent mark. So I'd bring 8 to 10 sports bras with you, okay? No matter what everyone says, you're going to thank yourself later. Underwear. So. At the PX, if you don't have enough or you don't buy any underwear when you ship, you're going to have to wear like these huge ass granny panties and it's just, it's not attractive at all. You're not trying to be attractive, okay, in basic combat training. But if you buy before you ship and you have a decent quantity, amount of neutral colored underwear, you'll be a lot happier with ones that fit because you can find ones that fit you. Um, they, they can't be boy shorts, they can't be um, boxers, they can't be anything like that, of course no thongs, but you can wear like normal size. They don't have to be huge on you, they don't have to go up to your belly button. They can be something that's more comfortable for you, as long as they're neutral colored and they don't have any logos, okay? I would bring 8 to 10 pairs of underwear as well. Don't do them like crazy because you'll be sweating a lot of them out and that includes your sports bras and your underwear. I'm bringing a little thing of um, sunscreen, it's just 50 SPF, very small travel size. I'm not even sure if you're allowed to bring sunscreen to basic combat training, and if you do, I'm sure they'll have plenty at the PX. 
I'm bringing a journal because I want to write every single night before I go to bed, if I have the time, I want to write about each day during basic training um, so that I can look back on it and say, hey, wow, I remember those days. My children, my grandchildren, my buddies, my family, they can all read what I went through during basic combat training, the good and the bad times. Q-tips. Q-tips. I have a lot of Q-tips. I'm just bringing um, two 50 count little boxes that got the dollar store very, very cheap. It came in a two pack in a little container. The reason I'm saying bring a lot of Q-tips is one, your ears are gonna be dirty, you may wanna clean up, but mainly they're for cleaning your M16 rifle, okay? They are perfect. A lot of people say pipe cleaners work, but Q-tips are really, really good. I'd bring a couple Ziploc bags, like just empty ones in case, um, I wouldn't bring like the huge gallon size, I mean you can if you want to, and then roll them up and put them in your backpack for some extras, because you never know what more you're going to buy at the PX, and stuff that needs to be separated in your bag, and stuff that would go great um, in a Ziploc bag. Combination locks. I don't have one, I don't, haven't bought any yet, um, they prefer apparently the key locks, but I personally, um, I, I lose stuff sometimes, so I'm just going to bring... Um, I'm gonna get the combination locks, the ones where you just put in like the three digit numbers. A lot of stuff gets stolen um, in basic combat training stuff, so don't bring anything really expensive, just bring what you need. That's the key in packing for basic combat training, okay?